Okay, uh, in this question, we are looking for the integral of one over the square root of x squared minus six x plus 13. Uh, the integrand there, or you can say um, the radicand, the number appearing or the expression appearing inside the radical sign, inside the square root sign, if I may, that is a quadratic expression. Now, uh, uh, when you look at it, clearly, even if, it, even if we could factorize it, it is inside a square root sign, so we cannot use the method of uh, uh, partial fractions. And therefore, we are left, the, the best method to use here is to express that in vertex form using uh, the completing square method. So we are going to turn this into a vertex form of the quadratic equation and then make use of that. Let's see what we get. So, first we express the quadratic radicand into a vertex form by completing the square, completing the square method. So if x squared minus 6x plus 13, if we're going to change this, what we need to do is add and subtract uh, negative 3 squared there, so like this. So we'll add negative 3 squared and then subtract it. That By doing this, we haven't changed that expression, and then plus 13. When we do this, the first three terms form a perfect square, and we can write this as x minus 3 into bracket squared, like that. Okay, and then plus uh, 4 because this is minus 9, and that is plus 13, so negative 9 plus 13 is 4, so we end up with this. And this is the uh, vertex form of that quadratic expression. All right, so now we are going to replace that expression with this form, the vertex form, and we have, that's what we have. And now it looks like the expression that we've solved earlier, except now we have x minus 13 squared instead of just x squared. It doesn't matter, the same substitution works. I'm going to remove x minus 3 and substitute 2, because I'm seeing this, I'm going to square to get 4, so I'm going to substitute 2 tan theta. So I'm going to use the substitution, let x minus 3 be equal to 2 tan theta. If I do that, if we do that and differentiate, we'll get dx. If we differentiate this side, we get dx and differentiate this side, we get 2 sec squared of theta. Uh, let's use this space on this side. So we have that. So we have that one there, and we have this. Okay. We can now substitute this back. So where there is dx, I'll remove and put 2 sec squared of theta d theta. And uh, where I see x minus 3, I will put 2 tan theta. So doing that now, Right, we end up with, so where there is dx, we remove and put 2 sec squared of theta d theta. Where there is x minus 3 squared, I will put 4 tan squared theta, because this whole thing here, this expression x minus 3, is 2 tan theta. So if I'm squaring, then I get 4. So I get 4, 4, square that and square that, I get 4 tan squared of theta. So I'm going to remove that and replace it with 4 tan squared of theta, and then plus the 4 that was already there. If I factorize the 4 out, it becomes 2. If I take it out of the uh, uh, square root sign, it becomes a 2, which goes out there. And this 2 also goes out there, and the 2 cancel. And I end up with sec squared theta at the top, and tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared of theta. If I find the root, I get sec. So sec squared of theta divided by sec of theta leaves me with just a single sec theta, okay? So if I simplify that, I get sec uh, theta d theta. And we've already found the integral of this. Uh, well, to get it, we would need to use this, but I'm, I'm actually going to remove that and just write the answer directly. So this becomes, this becomes uh, ln of sec theta plus tan of theta plus c. Okay, now I need to replace this because my answer must be in terms of x, so I need to replace this. To do that, I go back to my original substitution, which was here. We let x minus 3 uh, be equal to 2 tan theta, which is to say, I can write this here, which is to say that tan tan of theta is in fact 
x minus 3 over 2. So if I was to draw that right angle triangle we were talking about, then this is theta. Uh, tan, gives, uh, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So that must be x minus 3. And this must be 2. And so um, I can now find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is this squared plus this squared root. So the root of 4 plus x squared plus, I think I'm going to write it on the side and then uh, uh, simply write the, the result after simplifying. So, so we end up with, so uh, what we are going to put here, let's call it t. So t squared is going to be 2 squared, which is 4, plus x minus 3 squared. This is 4 plus x squared minus 6x plus 9. And if I simplify this, I get x squared minus 6x, and this is plus 13. And since I'm interested in t, not t squared, t becomes the root of this. So this t here is the square root of x squared minus 6x plus 13. That is the hypotenuse of my right angle triangle. And because of that, uh, I know tangent is easy. This bit here is going to be x minus 3 over 2. That is tan of theta. But sec is 1 over cos. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So sec must be hypotenuse over adjacent. And so this is going to be the root of x squared minus 6x plus 13. Everything divide by 2 and we are adding them here with that like that ln this becomes our answer for that integral okay uh, hoping that uh, you've understood what is going on here uh, uh, let me know uh, in the comments if uh, uh, you need any further explanation uh, with this okay uh, i will see you in the next uh, uh, video